You guys, the sale was so good. I went back again. Yes, I went shopping at this antique mall twice for their big sale and got more amazing stuff. In case you're new here, hi, I'm Andy. I'm a vintage home decor reseller and I sell primarily on Etsy and then I also have a vintage booth. In today's episode, I'm going to take you antique shopping. I went to my very favorite antique mall and I found some amazing stuff at thrift store prices, thrift store prices, and then we're going to come back home. I'm going to show you everything that I got. Okay, so let's get shopping. You guys, I am back for more vintage. I'm going to an antique mall near me that has their big holiday sale this weekend. Usually I shop the first day and the last day. So I already did the first day and I already showed you that whole haul. So if you haven't watched that video, check it out. But this is the last day of the sale and usually the vendors stock throughout the weekend. So I can't wait to see what's new in there and then actually have some time to spend at some of my favorite booths. When I went in the first day, I had very limited time, which killed me. I usually like for this sale, I like to be very methodical. So oh, I can't wait to get in there and see what I find. So because I spent so much money a few days ago, I actually should have some rewards to spend too. So maybe like 10 bucks off. So that's always fun. So hopefully I find some good stuff. just spotted this and I did not see the last time I shopped this booth. I mean, I sure was there because it was tucked behind something. So I'm actually doing a little bit more like digging. This is 16 with 15% off. I like that it's like copper. I like the wood frame. You know, horse stuff definitely has an audience. So I think I'm gonna get this. Wood boxes are one of my best sellers. And this one is 22 with 50 off. No key. Someone put a button in there, actually. I wonder if it actually worked, like the key. Nope, it's just for show. Just for show. Anyways, it's really pretty. It has a lot of patina. And it has that message on the bottom. So it's definitely old. Oh, man, I do like the copper. Or is it really distressed brass? I can't tell. Okay, I'm gonna have to think about this one. So here's another wood box. So it's marked down to 20. And so it'd be 10 bucks. Okay. Oh God, this is so noisy. I kind of like this one better because of the little candle. I just think it's really cool. Okay, I think I'm gonna get this one instead of the other one because I do like how simple it is. I love that little thing on top. The little bobble on top is so cute. This is one of my favorite booths for art and I have purchased from it before, but usually not getting like good, good deals in this because the art is really good. Um, they do have a percent off, but Usually it's a piece for me and not a piece for resale, but they have a lot of, oh, I like that weird piece. But yeah, they have a huge mix of, you know, very traditional art landscapes, two pieces like this, two pieces like that. Really like that one. And the seascape, I mean, really they're all good. I would take them all. I would willingly take them all. This is the first time I've actually seen one of these that has something other than like pocket change or loose change. It's 22, this is Beverly Hills. So I guess it must've been at the Beverly Hills. That's so funny. Maybe you guys have seen these before, but it's usually only pocket change or loose change. So very cool. I'm not personally into tooled leather that much, but this purse has the cutest shape to it. It's like super sweet. I do not need another purse, but 30 bucks with 15 off seems like a very fair deal. This cute painting is nine with 10% off. I think I'm gonna get it. I don't know what those are. People, I guess. I really like the colors and small art does really well for me. So I'm debating this very interesting candle holder. <laughs> I'm just not sure if the shape of the wood goes with the shape of this. Like, it's like, this is too plain and that's too ornate. It's 18 and 15% off. Okay, I think I'm going to pass on it, but let me know in the comments if you guys think that was a mistake. I'm, I'm intrigued, but also confused. Now this copper vase, very cute. 18 with 15% off. I feel like there's maybe more margin for this guy. So I think this is going to go in the basket. So these type of stools um, do really well for me, but I've never sold one that has like painting on it. You guys have never used one of these tall, like back stools that have the handle. Like they're amazing. So I, 
It's 30 bucks. If it's cheaper, I'd probably try it. I just don't know how many people want like the really like country painting on it. Although they are strawberries and strawberries are super cute. So I'll probably pass on it, but just know like stools like this, plain, pick them up um, because they're always, they're always a good seller. This booth has a great use of space. I love what they did up top with the crates. Now that I have my own booth space, I am always now looking for inspiration on what other people do. I feel like this is amazing. Of course, everything in here I want because it's very lovely curated. But I love their booth setup. I'm kind of debating this book because I want to like cut it up and make framed art, which I know is always a little controversial, but you guys know I love modern art and colorful art is 10 bucks. And I think what this booth might be 20% off. Oh, and not the first one. Someone else did it. So yeah, it's very tempting because the book is so beautiful. I'm getting very good at spotting boxes made in Poland now. <laughs> Since they seem to be finding so many. This one is outside my budget, but I've never seen one this large before. This is beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. This mirror is beautiful. So it's brass, very solid. It's 124, so out of my budget, but man, look at the fish. Oh, the fish are so good. There's me. Hello. Uh yeah. I wish I could bring that home. This piece back here actually is um, a rubbing from some sort of building or tombstone. So I bought one of these at an estate sale. It was a really big one, sold right away in my booth. Did not know what they were. And then one of you guys told me it was a rubbing from some sort of stone in Europe. So that's what it is. I like this one because it's the woman. The other one I had, I think I sold it was like a knight or something. Anyways, so it's also my budget again. <laughs> just always want to spot all the things outside my budget but I thought this one's very cool because first time I've seen one like small like this usually they're really large can we just have a moment for these mushrooms <gasps> look at how big they are what you know I have very rarely found any sort of mushroom anything I feel like like very few and far between so I'm always jealous when people find these cool retro mushrooms Especially the ones on top. Those are so good. Of course, my heart wants this piece of art very badly. It is um, almost $700, so I won't be getting it, but the green is so good. I kind of like this little vase. It has very interesting texture and the swirls. The little handles kind of look like angel wings, actually. So it's 12 bucks with 25% off. I may Google Lens it to see if there's any info because there's no like, Tagged flip over. There's no markings underneath of it. Just finished on the first side and it was good. <laughs> Got a lot of stuff. And so now I'm going to hit up the second side, so the other side of the street rather, and uh, see what I can find there. So my favorite vendor has several booths in that one. So I'm going to shop all those spaces, look very diligently around. But yeah, I feel like I'm going to get end up with some more stuff. I just spotted this floral painting. And I don't know, I think I may have to get it. It's really pretty. So it's 30 and 15% off. So it'd be about 25 bucks. So I think it's gonna have to come home. You guys know me in florals. I really like this needlepoint. Goodness. I wish it was a pillow. Cause it'd be the best pillow, but you know, I don't make pillows. <laughs> I don't have time to learn how to make pillows. So I'll probably pass on it, but really love the colors, the green. Again, I must be having a love affair with green today. So I shopped this booth and got a very cool Italian metal candle holder last time I was in here and it sold in a flash. So I am like looking all around in every corner to see if she has anything else that is like metal work Italian because that's selling so well for me. I did spot this uh, Florentine box, but it's outside my budget. I think it's like 45 bucks with 25% off, which I'm sure there's margin in it because it's so big, but the top part's not super exciting to me. So I'm gonna pass. Ooh, that mirror is really good. 
it's like a full mirror. I'll have to check that out. But so far, no metal work. I did want this. I thought at first it was 21. I was like, sold. And no, 210. <laughs> 210. Story of my life. But, ooh, that luggage stand. I'm going to have to see how much that is. You guys know I sell those? Like hot cakes too, I just hate shipping them. So that luggage rack is 45 with 25% off, so a lot of room actually, because I sell them for like, I want to say 168 on Etsy, but I love shipping them. So sometimes, you know, you just can't pay me enough to do something. And I have one at home right now that I got for $19 that I'm sitting on because I'm afraid to list it because it will sell and that means I have to ship it. So I know that sounds so silly, but I know that person who likes to ship for someone who sells as much as me. So anyways, hopefully I can find something easier to ship in this booth. So this statue of a family is actually really sweet. It's 25 with 25 off. Oh, I really like it because it's so simple. And like we, this, this is definitely like the embodiment of my family. Cause you know, we just have the one kiddo um, and we'll only have the one kiddo. So really cute. Okay, I think it has to come home with me. This bookshelf has some great brutalist pieces. So it has these very cool made in Spain candle holders. They're expensive. They're 72 for this set. Although I sold a brutalist thing recently for a lot more than that, but different style. So I'm not sure how those would do. And then in the case is this really neat, almost looks like an acorn. Another one, 24 will be 15% off. So I may have them get that one out because it's really neat. I don't know how much margin's in it. It's a very cool piece. That very cool brutalist piece that I wanted out of the case is, it has like a, not a chip, but um, a split in the wood, which is a, such a bummer um, because I wanted it. I feel like if it was any cheaper, I would have just accepted it maybe for myself. But it was just at a price point that just, it's like, you know, no, I don't want to pay that much for something that has that deep of a flaw. So passing on it, sadly. So welcome to my studio space. This is where we're going to do the haul. I got some really great stuff. So it's definitely worth going there a second time. Usually I hit the sale on the first day and then I hit the sale on the last day. So definitely did not disappoint. Got some great stuff. If you have not watched the first video, I pick up some items that I literally still can't believe I found. So if you haven't seen that, you gotta stop right now, watch that, and then come back to this video. But if you have watched that video, then you can stay right here and we're gonna get into the haul. So you guys know I love a floral painting, clearly. I just pick them up all the time. And so when I saw this one, I was just like, 100% this is coming home with me. Now I think this ended up being like maybe 25 bucks. I could not get it off the wall. I don't know how they had attached it, nearly took down the display, and then a person came over and was like, how about I talk to the dealer about how to remove that? And I was just like so excited about it and so worried because the store was packed that someone was going to grab it. Uh, but they ended up taking it down for me and all was fine. Uh, but I thought it was absolutely beautiful. Now this has a lot of turquoise in the base and then like throughout. And I have turquoise as one of the main colors in my bedroom. So I may actually hang this floral in there. We'll see what the husband says. I mean, I have mostly modern art in my bedroom. I'm in the process of redoing my bedroom. You guys will see that video. And so I thought this might be a way of introducing the floral side of me into the bedroom space. So we will see. God, same the bedroom space doesn't not sound scandalous. Anyways, the place where I rest at night. Anyway, so I was very excited to find this and I think it was only 25 bucks, like I said, so this is a keeper for me. Now there's actually a lot of good stuff for you guys in this haul. It's not just stuff I'm gonna keep. I know I led with something I'm keeping, but there's a lot of stuff I'm gonna put on Etsy and then there's some things that are gonna go to my booth space. So something that's gonna be available for you guys on Etsy is this beautiful hammered copper vase. I thought it was incredible. Love the scale of detail on the top and all of these beautiful like floral, type details. I just thought it was a great size copper pieces selling well for me. So that's why I picked it up. I cannot remember what this cost, but I think it was pretty reasonable for what it was. Copper pieces definitely you can price up because they're valuable. But when I saw it, I was like, oh, someone who loves cottage core is going to really love this piece. So this will be available on Etsy. 
So something I picked up for my boo space is this very cool wooden puzzle. Now I think it's a puzzle because I believe all these pieces should technically come apart and then you can put it back together into the shape. I have other ones like that and that's what they do. So I'm assuming it's the same thing. I really love the mixed wood tones and the metal parts. I just thought it was very cool. These look awesome on a surface. Like if you have a coffee table and you have a different element, you're looking for something else to put on it. You know, something like this, very visually interesting. I don't recommend taking it apart unless you intend to put it back together or have the skill set to put it back together because otherwise it's in pieces forever. So just FYI, whoever were to buy this or if you ever see one, don't take it apart <laughs> unless you're very confident you can put it back together. But anyways, this will go my boo space. On Etsy, it just doesn't make sense because I, you know, it's not worth a ton. I don't want to have to ship it for a sale and I'm gonna make only a couple bucks on. So this is the type of thing that I usually will bring to my boo space because I have a little bit more flexibility on the margin. So anyways, this is going to my booth. So another piece heading to my boo space is this beautiful Reiku or Raku, I never know how to say it, um, piece of pottery. I thought it was stunning, the vase. I love the shine and I love the ribbing here. It's very lightweight, which I'm told in pottery, you want something lightweight because a lightweight piece is the sign of a skilled um, person. So anyway, so a skilled person must have made this. This was a really good deal. Again, I can't remember. I should have looked up what it was. I will pop on the screen how much this was, but I thought it was really beautiful. I love the fact that it has like the dark glazing and the dark coloring. It's just a really neat piece. So anyways, this will be available in my booth space. Another piece of pottery and then we'll take a pause on pottery and come back to it. I'll show you some other stuff. Is this very cute little vase with like little wings. When I saw these, I mean, you guys know I love religious artifacts is something that I collect is something that I pick up to sell and so I was just like oh the little angel wings which sounds so dorky I know but I just I couldn't help myself I thought it was really really cute I love the swirl and you can I don't know oh there you go you can see on screen it's like very textural very interesting I don't know much about it I did a google lens on it to try to find some more info nothing really compelling came up. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna list this as or, or price it as. This will also go to my booth, I think, because like I said, pottery just sells better in my booth than online. But I will say, if there's anything that you see that is going to my booth space and you want, you know, feel free to intercept and <laughs> let me know before I take it there. That's totally fine. I'm happy to list on Etsy, you know, for you to buy. Um, so it's not hard and fast what goes where, uh, but usually, you know, I try to earmark some things for certain places, but oftentimes, you know, they just go wherever they sell. So anyways, this will be available in my booth space unless you want it here on Etsy. So moving on to some more art pieces, anytime I can find smaller pieces of original art like this, I usually grab them because this size does really well on Etsy and also in my booth. So I thought this one was very interesting because of the colors. I don't know what these are. People, I'm not really sure, but I thought the landscape was very cool. My mom's like, oh, maybe they try to draw mountains and then they didn't know how to end them. And I'm like, well, thanks for that. <laughs> Maybe you picked up a piece of art that someone didn't know how to finish. I mean, I guess it's fair, it could be. But anyways, I thought it was really cool. Like I said, I like the colors. So this will be available in my booth space. That's where I'm planning to take it because I need a little bit more art there. My art is selling so quickly that I need more pieces. So that's where this is headed. And then something I plan to put on Etsy is this very cool copper horse art on board. I thought it was really, really neat. I especially liked the rustic frame. I thought that was very cool. And so, yeah, this was actually, I want to say it's like 18 bucks with the discount too. So it was really reasonably priced. I think the original artwork was like $9 and then the discount. So anyways, really good deals. So I thought this one was very cool. I've been picking up some more horse stuff lately because people like horses. So horse stuff sells, surprise to me. And so anyways, this will be available on Etsy. So moving on to some wooden pieces, I did get this very adorable family statue. Now this is for me. I fell in love with it. You guys know I'm a sucker for family statues. I just, I just love them. I get super sentimental. Like I became a mom and then I was just like, they're so cute. Where before I was like, those are so dumb. Like I thought they were so lame. People have family stuff. I'm like, ew. And now I have a kid and I'm like, now I'm super sentimental, especially this one because we're a three family. We have one kiddo, we only have one kiddo. And so I'm like, <laughs> it's us. 
So anyway, super silly, but I love the fact that this one is made out of wood and it's very minimalist. I thought it was really neat. So anyways, this is for me, it won't be for sale. But something that will be for sale is this very cool handmade wooden box, very minimalist, simple. I love the cute bobble on top. I think that just, mm, that's just like the cherry on top for me. I think it's so cute. So it's in really, really good shape. It had been marked down and then marked down again with the discount in that boost space. I thought it was great. It was kind of hidden underneath like a display piece. So I think that's why no one ever bought it because no one ever saw it. But me, as soon as I know there's a discount in a booth, I will go through every nook and cranny to see if there's something I could buy. Just because, you know, deals aren't always at antique malls. So anyways, I thought this was really great and this will be available on Etsy. Okay, so those are all the pieces that I got at the antique mall, but I have a few more things to show you. So this past weekend, I also went to a kind of flea vintage maker market. It's called the Portland Flea. They always have great vendors, great stuff. So I got a few things for me and some things to sell. So the first thing I picked up for myself is this really beautiful ceramic lidded pot. I love the cutout. I thought it was so beautiful. It was 20 bucks, so I paid up. I mean, I still think that's a great deal, but I paid up. It's not like it was thrift store prices, but I thought it was very cool. I love the fact that it's like the pinky mauve because you guys know pinky mauve is my color in my studio space. So when I saw this, I had to get it for myself. And speaking of like my colors in my studio space, I also got this very cool embroidered pillow. I thought it was lovely. It's very, very soft. I wanted to add a little bit more texture and visual interest to my chair. I mean, can you ever have too many throw pillows? I don't think so. I mean, I know men think you can, but I don't think you can. So anyway, so I was just like, oh, I like that one. So now I have three pillows on my chair. Now that may seem like overkill because it's not a very big chair, but I need to prop myself up when I do these like haul videos. So it serves a very important functional purpose, not just decorative purpose. So anyways, that was only 10 bucks I had to bring home. At that same market, I also got some vintage curls. They have already sold to one of my regular buyers, so I'm sorry, but I also got those there too. So something else I grabbed from that market were these sets of bells. So here, I'm gonna put them like this because as soon as I take them apart, they start to jingle and it's very irritating. Uh, but it was five Indian brass bells with the little etchings on it. I didn't know that these actually were collectible and people would pay money for them. I just have always thought they're like, oh, they're kind of sweet and cute. And I have some, I just put in a closet, not sure what to do with. But a seller that I know recently did an Instagram sale of individual bells and they sold individually. And I was like, okay, so people want these. And then I looked on Etsy and again, there, they sold for way more than I thought. So anyways, I was excited to find these. So now I have amassed a collection of bells, these five and some more. So I think I may do a bell sale. I don't know. I haven't decided. But anyways, these were only $10 for all five. They're already kind of pre-shined up, which is great. I don't have to do any work to them. So yeah, I was very excited about this find. So the final thing I have to show you, I actually got on eBay. So anytime something does really well for me, or I have a lot of inquiries about it after it sells, I usually go on the hunt to find more. So these brass hummingbirds, were something people really responded to. Anytime I posted them on Instagram, in my boost space, they sold immediately. Any brass applique, I had butterflies recently, they sold really well too. So now I'm on the hunt for these again. So I managed to find a lot of six of these. So I was very excited because now I can put them back in my boost space and people will be very excited that they came back. So anyways, I'm doing a lot of sourcing on eBay and Macari and other places just because it's so competitive here. And to find certain things is just like, you know, I can't wait for it to happen for me again. I have to like go out on a mission and look for certain things. So these particular wall hangings are definitely something that I'm now on the hunt for because every time I put them in my booth, they do really well. Okay, so that's all I have to share with you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you're local to Portland, let me know if you went to that sale at Stars the Antique Mall because I would love to know what you guys got. And if you're looking for more thrifting and decorating content between my haul videos here on YouTube, make sure you check me out on Instagram or TikTok. Thanks so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Take care.